This moisture will continue to move to our south and into the Bahamas and out into the ocean over the next uh, 24 hours or so, brushing us by with another bump in the moisture in the atmosphere. That combined with some daytime heating and the sea breeze developing later today means we've got the perfect recipe for more locally heavy showers and storms in spots today. But once we get on the other side of that, we'll see some relatively drier air coming in for Monday and Tuesday. You can see the drier air kind of waiting in the wings. That's the brown color right there uh, back to our west. It's not here yet. It's trying to get in and the upper atmosphere hasn't made it down to the surface yet, but you see that big plume of moisture uh, going off to our south. It looks like that's where it's going to stay, but there's actually moisture extending farther north from that in the lower levels and that will increase the uh, I guess the the instability in the atmosphere you would say as we go through the day. So because of that the flood watch which was supposed to expire at midnight last night has been extended 24 more hours through midnight tonight now for Palm Beach County down toward Broward Miami Dade Glades and Hendrick counties as well right around the western edge of the lake any additional rain especially any additional heavy rain is going to cause some localized flooding. Future radar as we head toward midday today, we're still mostly dry. Showers and storms offshore, a couple of pop up showers in a few spots. You'll notice a lot less coverage today than we saw over the past couple of days. But again, all it's going to take is one downpour to cause more flooding today. Some hit and miss scattered showers and storms as we head toward four o'clock. And by the time we get toward eight o'clock this evening, a lot of this is already way off to the west as we get a bit of a northeasterly flow developing today. So noticeably drier as we head toward the evening hours heading to the beach today. We don't have the all clear yet. Very rarely do we get the all clear this time of the year, right? We've always got that risk of lightning. It seems like almost every day. Anyway, scattered storms out there. Seas running about two feet for today. Treasure Coast 85, 86 for the Palm Beaches with a good chance for at least some scattered storms, mainly this afternoon and early tonight. Scattered storms for the boaters. The seas running about two feet and the intracoastal a light shop. So putting it all together, here we go for the week ahead. Storms likely today. A noticeable downward trend in the rain chances tomorrow and Tuesday, but that's temporary because tropical moisture moves back in again with higher rain chances Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.